Hey everyone, Mo here and today I'm going to be using the 20 minute studio abstract art for beginners kit from Faber Castell. I have not used this kit before so I'm new to it and I'm going to explore with you what I can and cannot do but let's first start by looking at the supplies that are included in the kit. So there are two gelatos, there's the bubble gum and the mango, there is a gold gel paint which comes in a big tube and there's the whipped spackle as you can see I have not opened this so it's all still intact but in order for me to use it I'm gonna have to open it so I'm just opening the packaging with scissors and then there are pigment powders there are three pigment powders looks like a pink one a yellow and I'm assuming this is something bluish because I'm holding up it holding it up to the light and it looks like it must be something bluish so those three and there's a tiny little spatula I'm guessing this and the whipped spackle we can mix those in then there's a paintbrush and there are four illustration boards I'm going to take just one of these out because I don't think I'll be making all four and ah so here's a texture card it has got four different sides to it different kind of teeth I don't know if you can tell yeah so one's a wavy one's a more it's the pinking one and then there's these tooth like and a flat edge so those I'm guessing we'll be using it for spreading the uh, mix of pigment and whipped spackle and there's the design guide which is this because there are detailed instructions inside like what you can do with all the ingredients and there are some sample uh, artwork and yeah so that pigment color was the blue one because I'm seeing some blue here and then the orange is getting a mix of the pink and the yellow and some green the yellow and the blue okay so you can do a lot even though it looks like just a little kit uh, let's get started so other than what's in the kit I have a cup water cup with water and a, a small palette for mixing anything and I have my illustration board out so let's see I want to do a little bit of gelatos if you are new to gelatos they are water soluble pigment sticks and you can see how smoothly they go on and you can blend this dry like if you just do this that is also blended versus you can also blend them with water so that kind of it's like almost like two different products in one so that's a little bit of the bubble gum and here's a little bit of the mango I love projects where I don't have to be extremely precise I just like the where I can be free I cannot make a mistake because there's no right or wrong way of doing it I like that kind of art very much so here's what I have with just the uh, two gelatos and I don't mind that they're looking a little splotchy because I'm guessing I'm going to be adding more layers on top and when I do that anything that I don't like I can cover up so I'm going to pull in my palette I'm going to set this to dry I'm not using a, a, a hair dryer or a heat tool you could use it but I don't think I'm going to need it this is the whipped spackle I'm going to take some out with my little spatula I might need more but for now I'm just going to cap it back on tightly so 
my um, medium does not dry out okay let's see I hope I didn't make a super big mess with this because anytime something comes in a bag and I have to take it out does not mean that it will go well so I'm just gonna take a little bit because I don't know how intense these pigments are if they are they look like they're pretty intense so yeah wow I love how beautiful and intense that color is and I'm gonna just bring it in here and apply it like that there I don't think there is a right or wrong way of doing this so whatever way you choose to do it will be your way and let me just pull some of that in oh yes mm, that's lovely I'm not starting with anything in particular in mind it's supposed to be an abstract art kit and this week I have been busy filming other things other more structured classes so this is a very welcome break from all of that where I can just play and not worry and so there are these teeth and maybe I want to do a little bit of that I'm going to get a little more of the pigment out. For this, I'm just going to wash my spatula before I uh, dip it back in my whipped speckle so I do not contaminate the whole jar. And here it is. I don't think I'm going to pull out the blue here, but I certainly plan on using the yellow. It's like calling my name. Oh, I love it if you add more pigment you're gonna get a more intense color I am trying to um, keep a little bit of variation in yellow from the mango and this one this is more like a lemon lemonish pigment I'm really tempted to mix a little bit of these two together and see the color it would create for me oh yeah I love it and I don't want to make one even flat color I'm just gonna let that mix happen directly on the board I think I like it how it is right now I have left some white spaces I'm afraid that if I keep on mixing and adding more I might lose this vibrancy of the colors and maybe pull in a little bit of the pink over here because it kind of otherwise does not look too balanced yeah just that and in the next step, I am going to use the gel paint uh, to make some marks. So instead of using a pencil or a pen, I'm going to be using this. I'm just starting to uh, squeeze this gel paint bottle. Just start the paint. Um, that's a good idea because you don't want a, a huge blob of paint to land on top of your finished almost finished artwork so I'm just putting dots because it has got a little tip which makes it possible for me to do that without any special tools or skills I'm just putting those dots and again that's just how I am envisioning this there is 
you can put the dots somewhere else you could make a different kind of mark I feel like it's like the mix of the various texture and the pattern that has formed because of the way I applied the texture it just makes it very interesting I'm so used to having a focal point to my art that this is a little difficult for me to envision like this is abstract I understand that but I usually don't do abstract style of art and you of course you can always add something as a focal point to your piece and use it as a background but I think it's the colors are so beautiful I don't want to cover any of that up so whatever it is it is and I am going to accept that to be the finished project I am really a beginner when it comes to abstract art so this is what I have so far and I'm going to get some of that gold paint that I had squeezed out to get my tube started over here and just like that have a little bit of gold I seem to always no matter how many tools I have I seem to always find a way to engage my hands in the process Let's take some of that. How rich and beautiful. I don't know if you can tell by looking through your screen through the lens of my camera, but it's beautiful. It's a rich, rich gold. I'm so glad that the kit comes with a huge tube it's uh, let me see how much it's a 30 milliliter or one fluid ounce tube that's gonna last you quite some time just be sure to close your mediums it, uh, your whipped spackle as well as your uh, gel paint so they don't dry out because the saddest thing is to when you sit down to create and something has dried I think I would stop here. I love it just the way it is. You could use a word if you like, but I think I am going to just let it be just the way it is and take it as my first piece of abstract art. Well, I hope you liked today's video and try this kit i mean it's a lot of fun even if you have never done it it's meant for beginners and i am a beginner when it comes to abstract art and just play with it when you are done you there are four boards and i just used one in today's video but there are four boards they are very thick they are not going to buckle with any kind of moisture that you just added you saw me I added the gelatos then I added water then I added medium and I added pigment then I added more gel pen and it is holding up there is no buckling no bending no warping and when it's all dry I could it, it comes I believe this is a four by six just by looking at it it looks like it's a four by six you can frame it and like do three or four of those together and frame them together and make an instant gallery wall and a lot of art takes many many years of practice and stuff but sometimes we all need a little bit of instant gratification and I think a kit like this caters to that very well and so here we are thank you for watching <laughs>